This Capitol Ministries ministry update is about Russians burning Bibles and Capitol Ministries Bible studies to Ukrainian political leaders going strong despite heavy shelling in that area. We told you about Slavik Rimsky, Capitol Ministries Global Director for Eastern and Western Europe, who was in California for required training when Russia invaded his homeland of Ukraine. You may remember that Slavik was unable to return to his wife and young children when the war shuttered airports in his country and in nearby nations. In a dramatic escape, his family was able to flee Ukraine and meet Slavik in a different country where they remain safe. From his current location, Slavik continues to accomplish his responsibilities to work with other Capmen men in Europe and grow the ministry across the continent. The following is a current report from Slavic about the progress of Capital Ministries Bible studies to Ukrainian political leaders amid the war. Vitaly Orlov, Capmen's ministry leader in Ukraine, shared this, quote, No matter how many Bibles Russians burn, we will keep buying and placing God's word into the hands of the decision makers, end quote. Slavik Rimsky is Capital Ministries Global Director for Eastern and Western Europe and shared the following, and this is a quote. It is hard to describe with words the tragedy and grief that Russia's invasion has rained down upon the Ukrainian people. Some cities are demolished to ashes and communities across my beautiful homeland bear the scars of mass graves where the bodies of thousands of innocent civilians are buried. The violence of Russia's armies is horrific and incomprehensible. It is estimated that nearly 11 million people have fled their homes. According to the United Nations, Ukraine is experiencing the fastest growing refugee crisis since the Second World War. Yet in times like this, there is light coming from the work of God's church and its leaders. Ukrainian Bible teaching churches once again demonstrated amazing unity in responding to the humanitarian needs of the people and converted church buildings into sleeping and feeding areas. Many have come to faith in Christ, and daily, new believers join the church. Another light in Ukraine is Capital Ministries. Even during martial law in Ukraine, there is a Bible study movement taking place in military administrations, local government, and decision centers. Capital Ministries is well-established and has been working to build Bible studies to Ukraine's political leaders since 2019. Through trips to my country and launching Bible studies and teaching and training conferences, Capman's objective from the beginning was to train and equip Oaks in Office, Christian political leaders who know how to stand strong amidst crisis and in wartime. As the war rages on, we rejoice that the capital city stood and having suffered huge losses, the invaders retreated. And in another region of Ukraine, despite heavy attacks by Russians, this Capital Ministries Bible study met. We will not disclose the name of the region for the security concerns. On April 27th, leaders were taught about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. There was an atmosphere of peace and confidence that only the Holy Spirit can create. Those who want to bury Ukrainian cities under the convoys of Russian tanks must realize that there will be a resurrection of Ukraine. Vitaly Orlov, who is Capman's coordinator for Ukraine, has wisely noted the following. He said, you can try to bury the truth in the grave, but it won't stay there. He also said the Bible gives our political leaders a sense of direction. God's word answers the pressing questions of life and death, war and peace. That's why Russians burn thousands of Bibles in Irpin, a town in the outskirts of Kiev. The devil always wants to keep the Bible away and is using all possible means to keep it away from those who are in authority, end quote. Rimsky shared, Vitaly vows that efforts to destroy God's word will not prevail. Dedicated ministry leaders across Ukraine buy and distribute Bibles and continue to lead Bible studies to local and state political leaders. Vitaly shared, quote, the Bible is the sword, and we want to make sure that all our military leaders are supplied with the spiritual sword to win the battles. No matter how many Bibles Russians burn, we will keep buying and placing God's word into the hands of the decision makers, end quote. Vitaly said he is encouraged that Capital Ministries is able to serve the political leaders of Ukraine. Quote, 
It's hard to describe the amount of responsibility, stress, and emotional load placed on the shoulders of elected officials during the war. Our local ministry leaders are ready to serve them and dig into scriptures together to find peace, strength, and comfort. Not only does the Bible provide answers to many questions, but it points to the source of wisdom and guidance from God, end quote. As evil progresses, the Bible teaches us to overcome evil with good and pray without ceasing. We ask the people of America to continue daily prayers for Ukraine. Maybe your prayer will be the last drop into God's cup of anger that will be poured against those who approve and execute the killings of Ukrainians. In 2020, Vitaly and several others successfully completed the Capital Ministry's required training in the United States to become ministry leaders in Ukraine. If you wish to support Capital Ministry's mission to establish discipleship Bible studies to political leaders across Ukraine, please make your check payable to Capital Ministries. Note that your donation is meant for the ministry in Ukraine. We thank you in advance for helping us keep the light of God's word ignited in the hearts of citizens and leaders in Ukraine.